Day seven, here we go. It's terminal commands, okay. Sizes they do okay. What do we start at? Everyone multiple directories at once. Doesn't look like it, but just in case. Um, see this do something. Okay, looks like it's going through bats. That's good. And now what we'll do otherwise. Everything else is like an ls, so let's do this. Down here. Um, it's just going to be ls is always itself. Yes, current directory. Okay, so it's not actually a command. I see. Um, not the right answer. Okay. Let's take a look at what's going on. Wait, I get the right answer for this. Oh. Oh, okay. This is. I didn't finish reading the question. That was problematic. Some of their total sizes. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So what we'll do. Just always do like after command. Uh, I'm doing this in a very bad way. This is
rank 3. We need our new space at least. Smallest directory. Okay, well, this is just like. Gonna say if um, F sizes so F size of root is going to be this. Sorry. So if we delete v, then now we're going to have plus v. If this is at least this, then deleting it is big enough. No? Oh, um, it's going to be empty string, I think. Rank two. Oh, that was a good day. Rank three and rank two. Oh, man. Oh, wow. And this is not filling up very fast at all. Wow, this is crazy. Three and a half minutes from beta rows. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is a tricky question, I guess. And, like, I definitely at first just... Um, oops. At first I saw, like some of the total sizes of those directories. And I think I just thought like it was asking what's the sum of all the file sizes. Um, but yeah, I definitely did not do this in a very robust way. Um, of course, this is like, as always, tailored to advent of code. Uh, so I'm just trying to do it as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, and I think like this step right here is n squared in some sense of n. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, what I'm doing here, basically, is I've sort of listed out all the folders. So, like, here, if we do, um, um, if we look at the folders, I've, I've literally, like, made something that contains every folder. And then for each one of these folders, if I want to find the full size, uh, what I'm doing is I'm literally going through every single file um, and seeing like, oh, is this file under this folder somewhere? And if so, I, I add it. Uh, so like that's kind of n squared, but I think it's it's fine. I mean, it's pretty common that n squared is like fine advent of code. Oh yeah, this is 175. Um, and then the number of files I have, 287. So, so this is uh, completely fine runtime wise. You could definitely do it faster if you did it properly by like propagating the size up the tree, um, but that is definitely not what I did. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'll. I'm trying to think. Is anything else commentary-wise I want to say about this? Uh, let's see where people are right now. Wow, still only twelve for part two. That's pretty wild. Um, part one is is getting there though. Oh man. Whew. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll quickly explain the question. Um, so basically, we're given this output, which is like a, uh, a like, it's kind of an output you would get from being at like a bash terminal and just like typing the command cd and ls everywhere. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, if you don't know what those do, uh, what cd does is it changes directory, so it navigates the file structure, um, and ls like lists the current files in here. And in this particular version, what it's doing is when you do ls, it will show you both files and directories. And for directories, it just says dir a. Uh, and then for files, it actually shows like the size of the file in, in bytes. 
presumably, although it doesn't really matter. I guess they don't give units, they just say size, um, but that's fine. Um, and you can sort of construct, like, from this output, you can construct a, uh, like, what the actual file system looks like. Like, you can sort of reconstruct this, um, assuming that they navigate into every folder, which I assume is guaranteed. Um, I mean, if it's not, it's just kind of unsolvable uh, because we don't learn anything about like directory sizes until we actually go in them. So I think I just assumed that it was uh, that it has everything in it. Um, I'm sure that's guaranteed somewhere in here. Um, oh, is the disk actually full? I'm kind of curious. No, it's not. It's not completely full. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, and basically what question, what part one asks is it says find all directories with a total size, and the total size, the size of a directory is like the sum of uh, all the sizes of things within it, and if those are directories, you add up those too. Um, that I kind of just assumed, uh, it probably says it right here. Um, but yeah, it says find all the directories with a total size of at most 100,000, um, and then add up their total sizes, and it, nicely it does, uh, point out explicitly that this can count files more than once. Um, yeah, and it just wants you to add up those total sizes. Uh, so the way I did that is, I mean, I basically just parsed everything, and I just have cur keep track of like our current path. Um, instead of using slashes, I, I, use, um, I use a list. That way it's pretty easy um, to pop off. One of the commands we have to deal with is cd dot dot, dot which moves us like up one directory. Um, and if you have a list, you can basically just like pop from the top of the list and it moves you up. Um, and I assume this is the case, maybe it doesn't say it, um, but very commonly, like in, in actual um, Linux distributions, if you cd dot dot from root, you stay in root, uh, which is why I have like this check to make sure that we're actually somewhere above root. Um, root is just the name for like the, the top level directory, which has everything in it. We also need to support the ability to cd to root directly, so maybe we're like somewhere in one of these paths, and then we just go straight to back up to the root. Um, I don't see it here, but I assume I assume it appears somewhere in uh, this file if they told us to handle it. Um, but yeah, and so basically, if I see a CD, I, I track it. If I see uh, something else that begins a dollar sign like ls, I just ignore it. Um, because I can safely assume that whenever I see a line that is not um, a command, like like this, like dir e or 29116f, then it's just the files in my current directory. Um, and the way I can assume this is because ls always shows the files in our current directory. Um, so I don't even need to worry about like when an ls command was run. Uh, I just see lines like this, and I know that it's um, in the current directory. Um, and if I see dir. Um, so basically, like, if I, if I don't see one of these, uh, I split this, I get the two parts. If I see the dir, I just ignore it, um, because I don't actually care. Uh, I'm going to go into this directory eventually. I don't really care that it exists right now. Um, if it does exist, eventually they will show me the files in it. Um, so I just ignore that. Uh, otherwise, I get the size, and then I just, I just have this dictionary files, which maps the full name of a file. Um, so something like like a slash e slash i is the full name of, of this file, the absolute path. Uh, and I just map it to the size. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, and then for part one, oops. Oh yeah, this is part one, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, cool, so, so then all I do this is what I wrote first, and this just gives me the size of every, of every file. Um, to actually do the uh, what it asks about finding the size of a directory, what you really should do is sort of like, like if you imagine this file structure as like a tree, you should really take the sizes and like propagate them up one level of the tree at each point. Um, and this way, like we would add, take all these and we would propagate them up to D, and now we know how big D is. Um, and then we already know this, we already know this. Um, we take all these, propagate them up. Or I guess first we take I, propagate it up to E, take all these, propagate them up to A. And we have everything here, we can propagate it all the way up to the root directory. 
If you do that, uh, you do it properly, it's, it's O of n runtime, because we're just looking at everything once. Um, it's kind of a pain to write, because you actually need to care about like, the tree structure. Um, and I knew the input was small. I knew that the simpler thing to write uh, would be fast enough. And that simpler thing is just, I also track every single folder that I've seen. And then basically, like I check, does the full path of the file begin with a folder? If so, add it to there. So that's why I was mentioning earlier about me doing this, this n squared approach. Um, I'm just sort of brute force is maybe not the right word, but kind of brute force checking um, the size of every folder. Um, and, that, and then I just check like if the folder was small enough, then add it to, to this counter and then print it. Um, and then part two says, okay, now we want to delete a directory to free up at least, um, what is this? 30 million uh, size. Um, and what's the smallest directory we can delete? That frees up this much space. And they tell you that the total space that you have is 70 million. Um, so I'm basically, I, I have my list of all the sizes of the folders, right? So I'm just going to go through and find the smallest size such that, um, so 70 million minus the size of root. Uh, so empty quote here, this is what I call the, the root directory. Um, this is the amount of space that we're currently using total. Um, and the idea is that like, we want to make sure that if we add back in the space, if we free it up, we have at least enough, we have at least 30 million. So that's what this condition is. And I was a little bit careful when I was writing this condition to make sure it was right. Um, and we just find the min of that. And uh, that's our answer. So yeah, that's uh, that's advent of code, day, day seven with uh, really good performance. I'm very happy with uh, number two and number three, or number three, number two. Um, what did I do to my global leaderboard? Let's see. Oh, wow, I went up to number four for that. I guess it goes to show in the early days, one really good day can send you up a lot, and one really bad day can send you down a lot. Uh, but definitely very happy about that. Yeah, um, well, that's it for today, day seven.